Happy Mother's Day to my Jehovah's Witness Chaldean mother who has not spoken to me in 10 and a half years. I am making this video because there's so many things that I am grateful for that she has given to me for being, now I am a strong, independent, 42 year old Chaldean woman. And I just wanna say thank you. She hasn't spoken to me in all this time and I don't think she realizes person that I am today, she has kind of helped me mold this person. So let's get into it. I want to say thank you, mom, because when you converted from being Catholic to being a Jehovah's Witness and putting our family, as dad would say, putting our family to shame, you taught me that you can choose whatever path that you want to take and that's okay. And then when dad proceeded to beat you, abuse you uh, for the next 15 or so years, physical abuse, emotional abuse, verbal abuse. But according to the Jehovah's Witnesses, when your family turns against you, you're serving the true God. So when dad was proceeding to beat you, the elders told you that's what, you know, that's what can be happening when you are serving the true God. So it made you, of course, it made you feel like, wow, I'm doing something right. And I, they were validating the, the fact that something actually was happening to you and you had never gotten that kind of validation before. So I don't blame you for being a Jehovah's Witness. I, I get it, I get it. From being from a culture where you're not really recognized as a woman, you're just like a mom and I'm not undervaluing being a mom, but the Jehovah's Witnesses made you feel very confident. So that being said, you have taught me how to be a confident woman and I kind of want to thank the Jehovah's Witnesses for it. Uh, even though I'm an, a proud activist in the ex-Jehovah's Witness space, and I actually work as a coach to help ex-Jehovah's Witness women find out who they are outside the organization because the Jehovah's Witnesses don't actually look at the traumas that we have in our life, our emotions. Armageddon is gonna come the new order is going to save everything, preach Jehovah's name, yada, yada, yada. You actually don't talk about your true feelings, your happy people. It's a bunch of bullshit. Sorry, mom, if you're watching this, I know you don't, you probably won't be like, oh, she's swearing? Yeah, I swear no. That's just me. It's my life. Um, yeah, so it's, it's very interesting because how I work is very about your emotions, how you're feeling, how your gut is feeling, how your heart is feeling, things that have, been, have happened to you in the past, your story. The Jehovah's Witnesses are just like, the conversations are so surface. And it's interesting because I'm, again, I'm the complete opposite looking inward to the organization I did spend almost 30 years in it, so I, I know what it feels like to be in the organization. But this video is not about that. Let's go back into why I'm making this video for you choosing the path that you chose and sticking your guns in the Jehovah's Witnesses and you really dug your nails into the space of being a Jehovah's Witness. You were an evangelist in the Jehovah's Witness space. You have recruited well over a hundred people in the Jehovah's Witness, into the Jehovah's Witness organization and broken dozens of families. I have received messages from people that you've broken up families with and I have course it's not a, a nice thing to have their family being broken up and having their having my mom do that but yeah it is what it is but you stuck to your guns you've shown me again being an evangelist in the Jehovah's Witness space and being a very confident woman in that space again not being a Catholic just a mom according to our standard culture it's it's very very much uh, the space that I'm in right now, you have shown me what that can look like in a very different light. I'm obviously living a very different life than you, but you're a very confident woman with a very happy demeanor. And I'm a very confident woman with a pretty confident demeanor. My heart is open and I am very present, um, working with my emotions and always continuing diving in, working on my trauma and just listening to my heart and my gut and following all of that instead of 
if I'm not thinking correctly according to the organization or having some questioning thought, I don't go to a scripture. I actually look within. How am I feeling? How is my body reacting? Mom, if you're watching this, I don't know if this is making any sense to you, but this is just where I am right now in my life. So I just want to say thank you for making me the confident, strong woman that is making this video for you right now. I, I'm just like, yeah, I don't ever think I actually ever showed you this appreciation. Well, especially because we haven't spoken in 10 plus years, but yeah, I just, I just want to say thank you because we never actually talked about emotions my whole life. And here I am just like embracing it all. I just want to say thank you. Thank you for being you. I hope this video makes sense and thank you for watching. And for those who are just watching this for watching it, I'll talk to you guys later.